In other news, the U.S. Security Council plans to adopt a new resolution against North Korea late Wednesday, New York time. The focal point is to significantly restrict the regime's lucrative coal exports. Kwonsua fills us in. The 15 members of the U.N. Security Council will convene at the U.N. headquarters in New York on Wednesday to vote on the adoption of a new resolution against North Korea's continual violations of its international obligations. That's according to diplomatic sources who also say the five permanent veto-wielding members, the United States, China, Russia, Britain and France, have reportedly agreed to the new measures, which took Washington and Beijing, North Korea's closest ally, more than two months to adjust. The new sanctions are expected to focus on significantly cutting the North's coal exports, a key source of foreign currency for the regime. According to Reuters, roughly 400 million U.S. dollars, or 7.5 million metric tons of coal exports, would be capped every year. While the previous resolution on Pyongyang already includes a ban on coal shipments, loopholes exist as it excluded coal used for livelihood purposes. But it's widely believed the revenue earned from this trade is largely used to finance North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. The new resolution is also expected to tighten the screw on the North's maritime and financial sectors and on its exports of helicopters, ships and statues. Once the UN Security Council adopts the new resolution, the South Korean government is expected to announce its own unilateral sanctions to maximize the effects of the multilateral measures. The government has been holding discussions on additional independent sanctions in various fields such as finance, shipping, trade and immigration. If the UN resolution is adopted on Wednesday as planned, it will have been 82 days after Pyongyang conducted its fifth nuclear test on September 9th, making the process of drafting the sanctions the most drawn out ever. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.